All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. So I am sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and it's been a while since I've done a video, but I wanted to do one real quickly tonight based on an article that I read earlier this week. And the title of that article was Second Amendment Sanctuaries Will Never Hold Up in Court. And it was an article that was written, or an op-ed, by a lady named Mary McCord. She's a lawyer. She's blah, 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 and all this. You know, She's one of those highly educated individuals. And it's probably... Uh, doesn't own a firearm, probably doesn't know anyone who owns a firearm. So the basis of her uh, beliefs, it, it doesn't affect her at all when she says, well, sanctuary cities will never hold up in court. And, I, and my response to that whole thing is, is this. They act like people like us care if these sanctuaries will never hold up in court. Because that's not what the, a sanctuary city is designed to do. The sanctuary is, decide, is, des, is designed to send a message to the legislature and the governor of Virginia that there are people out there who want our Second Amendment as it stands, not as somebody who writes up a new rule. I mean, some individual, one of the guys wrote up a new bill this week saying that uh, this guy right here, possession of this, is a felony offense. When Governor Northam says the people of Virginia want this, he's looking at a certain area, but he's not listening to the entire state as a whole. So let's talk about this. Uh, shall not comply is the new battle cry. I pinned that one. That's mine. Mary McCord states in an article she wrote in the Washington Post, yep, overblown alarm over reasonable gun control laws. Overblown alarm. And she basically goes on to say, well, by the lies that the NRA is selling and everything. Uh, Mary, all I have to do is read the bills. It's not overblown alarm. You act like, oh, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. You don't need those things because you probably either surrounded by security or you don't own a firearm. Or you never owned a firearm. And as far as you're concerned, no one else should. <sighs> Overblown alarm over reasonable gun control laws proposed in the state houses across the country has led to a movement by various local governments declaring themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries, vowing to establish local jurisdictions where state gun laws that they view as unconstitutional will not be enforced. Well, yeah, basically that's it, Mary. Uh, and our local law enforcement, your sheriff deputies, you guys over here, they all believe in the Second Amendment. And those who are standing up to fight for our Constitution do understand that our Second Amendment overrides your desire for some uh, environment where everybody lives in la-la lands and sing around, sit around, sits around the campfire singing Kumbaya. These resolutions, to the extent they conflict with the state law and lack legal effect, uh, states of a bunch of counties. In Tazewell County, Virginia, for example, the sanctuary resolution approved by the Board of Supervisors purports, purports to prohibit any county employee from enforcing and any county funds from being used for the enforcement of new state gun laws the county deems unconstitutional. But Virginia state law prohibits local governments from enacting ordinance or resolutions that are inconsistent with state laws and more directly specifically prohibits local governments from regulating firearms. Now, that's an interesting that she said that. Here's one of Northam's proposed laws. You ready for this? Legislation enabling localities to enact any firearms ordinance that are stricter than the state law. So it's okay for you to enact and enforce something that's stricter, but you can't do anything that's less. This includes regulating firearms in municipal buildings, libraries at permitted events. <sighs> Unbelievable. So if you get my drift, uh, they're saying that you as a local municipality, you can't do that. But after we enact this law, you can do whatever you want as long as it's stronger than what we have. Proponents of the Second Amendment sanctuary cities and counties largely ignore the teaching of Heller, instead pronouncing any gun control legislation unconstitutional, whether it requires background checks or waiting periods, raises... The legal age for gun ownership bans bump stock devices that allow for rapid firing, prohibited weapons, 
in government buildings or outlaws, assault-style weapons, rather than engaging in a bill-by-bill discussion of proposed legislation, these advocates whip up hysteria by painting with a broad brush, arguing that all gun control legislation is part of a conspiracy of liberals who want to take your guns. Well, what is it, Mary? Because that's exactly what it is. First of all, you're going to say that this, because you deem it unnecessary for the general public to own, is a felony offense to actually have it in your possession. All right, so an interesting comment that was left in one of the comment sections was by gentleman underscore BSH. And if you're watching this video, thank you so much because you nailed it. Quote, according to a pre, <laughs> quote, according to pre-filed bills in Virginia, the Democrats really do want to confiscate commonly owned guns. It says so plainly in the bill, so dismissing that as fear mongering is completely uh, dishonest. A good many Democrats have openly called for repealing the Second Amendment and other extreme ideas. Senator, 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 Senator Feinstein even said so back in the 90s. If she could have got the votes, turn them in, Mr. and Mrs. America. Exactly, guys. And I don't want this video going on too long. Uh, this is uh, back to the article. Using this disingenuous logic, proponents have convinced cities and counties in Oregon, Washington, New Mexico, Illinois, Colorado, Florida, Virginia, and elsewhere that they should resist laws enacted by duly elected legislatures upon their own declarations, not those of the courts, that such laws violate the Second Amendment. Yes, they do. Anything that is not in accordance with the Second Amendment is a violation. Guys, it's interesting what's going on. And because they have those little communities that have voted completely blue and they have more districts than the rest of the state the state is in danger of losing its rights they vote on this stuff on the 13th is from what i understand which is this coming week guys today is the 11th uh so anyway let me know what your thoughts are down below i just needed to rant i actually had needed to take a couple days to work on my house it's absolutely crazy uh i wish those guys the best of luck on the 20th up there in virginia this next monday i so anyway, uh, hold another rally next month because I think it's more important to just keep going on. Uh, all right. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And we'll always end it like this. If you're new to the channel, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom's not free. And I'm talking about those individuals who protect our Constitution and our Bill of Rights as they are written by our founding fathers, not by a bunch of jack lads who live up there in North Virginia. It's good old boy 32. I am out.